Inside the King Nanyu Museum, there's a temporary exhibit of both Pompeii, <laughs> and they were able to collect some relics and artifacts from, I guess, when the eruption occurred. And there's stuff like charred onions and bread, bread. and legumes and walnuts. Yeah, because you know they didn't have much time to react, and they just left their stuff there, and it just got all charred and hard, and and now they're put into a museum. Who would have thought, right? Stuff like this still exists. Cool. Alright, ceramic pillows. Pillows from the Shansi Yeah. Alright, we are done with the uh, Pompeii exhibit. And what that has taught me is do not build settlements near active volcanoes. Because it can be disastrous if they go boom. But all in all, I mean, it was a great location. It was in Italy, it was along the coast. Yeah, Pompeii was one of those thriving settlements. Unfortunate act of nature caused it to go boom. But now we're on to the tomb. That's the interesting part. Kind of freaky. <gasps> this is a concubine. What? So the original coffins disintegrated. There are two coffins, one that's the inner and one that's the outer. The inner obviously contains the body, um, but that's what the design would have looked like. And those are the original um, bronze handles that were part of the coffin. All right, so coming to this exhibit, I did not know what to expect. Um, I thought maybe I'd see some sort of a mummified body, but no. It's just this example here, where the Nanyu King would have been wrapped up in this uh, silk red shroud. Um, but what actually happened was, these are the remains of the body, and as you can tell, it's fully disintegrated, so there's nothing left of the guy. Part, uh, Nanyu, just to explain, is one of the kingdoms of China. It's in the south region where Guangzhou is right now, and I believe there are about 13 kingdoms part of China. And this was part of the Han Dynasty as well, so if you can imagine various uh, sections of China being split up into kingdoms, Nanyu was part of China, but it was its own kingdom. So this is uh, the remains. The king would have been dressed up in his tomb, in his coffin. That finishes our visit here at the Nanyu King Museum. Um, interesting inside. One thing I forgot to mention was there, there was a really cool video that showed how the Nanyu King was buried in the uh, Jade Shroud and all the Jade Discs were buried with them. Yeah, definitely check out if you into history and want to learn more about the Han Dynasty and the Nanyu King era. Nice check out. I don't know why, but it's 30 degrees and I had hot soup for lunch. Uh, I must be crazy, I'm just sweating like crazy. 
but we managed to make it to Yushi Park, which is actually across from the mausoleum of the Nanyu King. So it was close by, we just had to cross the street. But behind me here is one of the most famous statues here in Guangzhou. It is the five rams statue or five goats statue. It was made by three Chinese sculptors, uh, very famous. One of them is Yin and then another one is Chen. So this uh, statue was made in 1959. It was put together, it's 130 pieces, that's what it is, and it represents Guangzhou, the city of goats. So last time I was here in 2014, I came up to the statue as well. It's been five years since I've seen this wonderful statue. Here we are again, reunited. All right, here we are at the Guangdong Museum. Unfortunately, they stopped selling tickets for entry at four. The tickets are free as long as you show identification, but they stopped selling them at Four. It is 4.30 now, so we are late. The uh, Canton Tower just further down this way. There it is, look at that. Tower. Tower. I, and the bubble trams were... You see up top? Bubble tram. But uh, buildings behind me here, this is sort of the financial district. You can see it's a big open square. Uh, lots of people here already. Yeah. And this uh, plaza stretches on for, oh, 10 or 12 blocks. Yeah, 30 plus degree day today, always hot here. It was raining for a bit, but it stopped. Oh, and then this is the uh, Guangzhou Library. This building is really cool inside. Maybe I'll quickly pop in there, get some air conditioning in there. that way let's go all right this is gonna be our last subway ride here in China you can see there's already lots of people coming in gonna deposit our uh, little tip in order to get out and yay we're free yay that's our last uh, exit ride tomorrow we have to take a taxi to the airport because the subway only opens at 6 and our flight is at 8, so we're not going to make it there in time. I guess we got to take a taxi, which is okay, I guess. A little more expensive. Um, but, going to miss the subway, right, Carly? <laughs> She's only kidding, folks. It's not as bad. It's like sardines. And there's long lineups and queues. And security checks, as always. And people waiting. Hello, people. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't say hello.
We're at a restaurant in the airport. We're craving Chinese food. We haven't had Chinese food all week. We just want Chinese food before we leave China. We haven't had it all week. We had it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, but this is Chinese food in an airport. Last time we were at the airport, you had a cup of noodles. Yes. <laughs> and oh, and this is the uh, same airport that we were at when we uh, first arrived here and uh, headed out to Hong Kong. Because see, as you can see, here's the same penguin that we saw the first time. So here it is again, the penguin. You're weird. I'll show you what our food looks like. <laughs> I wasn't stuffing it. That looks like chicken. <laughs> Yum, that chicken. Guess what? We zeroed out on our money. How much do we have left? No, we got one, Ewan. We got one. That's pretty good uh, money management here. Bought lunch and Cardi got her drink. So. Wait, I'm not yeah, that's uh, one. One, Ewan. That's all we have left. We can't buy anything now. I said free water. We're going to fill water. up on free water. Free water. Hey, hey, here we are in Saskatoon. We made it home after 35 days in China. That's uh, my second longest outing away from Canada. That's Carly's first longest ever. So, um, my other time was in Costa Rica and Panama. That was 40 days long. It's supposed to be springtime, but it seems really cold and no one else is wearing shorts except for me. And when we stepped off the plane, you could see your breath. That's how bad it is. It's late May. And it should be warm out, but yeah, it's for some reason really cold. Strange weather pattern we're having here. So, yeah, we are home, home sweet home, glad to be home. And we are looking at the Rush mascot. Yeah. All right, so uh, stay tuned for our next adventures here in a couple weeks, believe it or not. So, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, please comment, like, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I normally don't say that, but I'm gonna say it here because this is the last video for this adventure, so why not? Please comment, subscribe, see you later, peace.